Your company's podcast and blog don't have to be enemies. They don't have to be competing priorities. Your company's podcast can actually fuel a lot of the content that you're looking to put into your blog. Introducing Recorded Content, a podcast for small, scrappy B2B marketing teams who want to get the most out of podcasting. In each episode, we capture stories from industry experts and podcasters. Listen in and uncover what it takes to launch, run, and grow a successful B2B podcast. Check out and subscribe to the show on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. Let's jump in. This is Justin Brown. I'm the co-founder of Motion and your host for this episode of Recorded Content. Recorded Content is brought to you by Motion, a done-for-you podcast agency for small, scrappy B2B tech marketers. A podcast is more than an audio channel, and a branded podcast can unlock a ton of opportunities for your company. Blogs and podcasts are both powerful marketing tools for B2B SaaS companies. And while company blogs have been around for a long time, podcasting has quickly become one of the most popular ways for people to consume content. There's something for everyone, whether you're looking for education, entertainment, or simply an escape from reality, podcasts are packaged into an easy-to-consume format accessible from the car to the bus to the bath. Podcasts can be consumed while we continue with our daily lives. More than half of the consumers in the U.S. listen to podcasts, making them a powerful marketing tool, which a lot of companies, especially in B2B SaaS, are not, only, are not using to their full advantage. In fact, a lot of companies view a podcast as an extra layer or another box to check, and with extra work involved, companies move a podcast further and further down the priority list every time it comes up. But it doesn't have to be that way. Your company's podcast and blog don't have to be enemies. They don't have to be competing priorities. Your company's podcast can actually fuel a lot of the content that you're looking to put into your blog. So today we're going to take a look at both blogs and podcasts and consider how you can repurpose your content in a way that lets you create a content flywheel without doubling your workload. That said, before we look at the differences between the two mediums, let's define them. Podcasts are digital audio files made available for download on the internet. Even though podcasts are traditionally viewed as an audio channel, companies now produce full corresponding video as well to be streamed on YouTube. We're doing that with this very podcast. Blogs, on the other hand, are educational, informational, or entertaining areas of your company's website where new pieces of content, blog posts, are regularly published. For tech companies, blog posts serve as a way to answer their customers' burning questions and provide an effective source of organic traffic. Obviously, you know that. Today, more than 6 million blog posts are uploaded each day, and companies rely on those blog posts to be a core component of their content marketing strategy. So what are the main advantages of building out your company's blog? Well, blog posts typically require the involvement of less resources, writer plus editor, than more dynamic media, which would require videos, podcast episodes, etc. Blog posts require less technical expertise and fewer tools to create than a podcast episode, and blog posts typically require a shorter time frame to produce and publish. They take less time for your target audience to consume, typically 3 to 10 minutes compared to 30 minutes or more for a podcast episode. Blog posts can potentially drive more organic traffic if they're optimized properly. So, what are the major disadvantages of creating blog posts? Well, blog posts that re resonate with your audience require in-depth knowledge, so there's always a struggle to find experts who are good writers. Blog posts require extensive research to ensure the content is fresh for the reader, and they require interviews or other content from external sources. They're also only in written format, so you don't get that dynamic content available within videos or audio files. For years, company blogs have been a core part of marketing teams' content strategy. Blog posts help answer customer questions and drive website visitors to other content, and ideally blog posts help attract target customers through organic search and then can be used to present your company's product as a solution. Podcasts can entertain and educate in the same way that blogs do, but in a much more engaging fashion, potentially. Your audience no longer needs to be glued to their screens to consume your content. They can simply pop in some AirPods and get on with their day while still absorbing what you have to say. You know, a busy marketer's dream. The main advantage of producing a branded podcast is that it's a fresh type of content with set less saturation than a company blog. Podcasts provide a way to showcase your brand's personality and when produced consistently, help establish a deep connection with your audience. 
They can also be consumed on the go without having a laptop or a computer in front of you. And podcasts can be repurposed into video formats, adding to their flexibility. So what are the disadvantages of starting a podcast for your company? Probably at the top of the list, podcasts typically require the involvement of more resources with a much more broad range of skill sets, from audio to video to written content to graphics and design. Podcasts also require more coordination with team members, leadership, and guests, especially if you host an interview-style show. Podcasts add a layer of technical complexity with live or remote recording platforms, and podcasts also require a bigger time commitment from your audience. The major considerations when choosing between a podcast and a blog are that with podcasts growing rapidly and blog content continuing to make up a large portion of the wider web, it's understandable to be confused as to which would be more beneficial to your business. If you're struggling to pick between a podcast and a blog, it helps to consider the following questions. Who are you looking to reach? As is the case with any marketing strategy, you need to confirm your ideal customer profile or your ICP. Are you looking to reach a wider audience or does your business tailor its product for a very specific niche? When you consider your audience, it helps to clearly identify a niche with your podcast. A blog can focus on a keyword or a cluster of keywords, but a company's podcast is much better positioned when you have a specific audience in mind. What point are you looking to reach them is another thing to consider. Think about the marketing flywheel. To create a sustainable business, you need to develop a process that can attract, engage, and delight your very best customers. If you're looking to attract business, a blog could be the ideal tool. Blogs offer an improved level of SEO and can include links to your product that gently nudge a reader to becoming a customer. If you're looking to engage potential customers and give them that final push in the right direction, a podcast could give that personal connection they need to make that purchasing decision. Podcasts are also extremely valuable for increasing the value of existing accounts. By showcasing success stories on your podcast, you can inspire your other customers and nurture the relationship. Another question to consider is, can your business bring something to the table? There are millions of blogs and millions of podcast episodes on the internet right now, and both platforms show little sign of slowing down their momentum. While the immense competition may, may seem daunting, it actually presents you with an opportunity to be creative and grow. Audiences are not looking to consume the same content over and over again. You need to consider if your blog or podcast can bring something unique to the table. This could be as simple as a podcast host's unique personality, so long as it brings something new to the platform that no one else can claim. Consider what you have available within your team and determine the best approach to take with your content. Weighing up the pros and cons of each platform could take a little longer than it's worth, especially when you can do both. There's no real reason why you would choose one over the other, as they can pretty much easily complement each other if done the right way. As we said earlier, if you have enough content for a regular blog, you also have enough content for a regular podcast. Old blog posts can be repurposed into a podcast episode, and old podcast episodes can be transcribed and turned into a new blog post. After all, a podcast is simply a conversation about a topic. Utilizing both platforms can help you reach a wide audience by literally combining both demographics in terms of awareness. Your brand, product, and message will be spread across an incredibly varied range of people rather than focusing your attention on just one group. Those who chose to incorporate blogs and podcasts into their marketing hold a secret weapon. The two platforms can be used to cross-promote. Even your most dedicated podcast listeners may have never read a single word on your website and vice versa. It takes a couple of seconds to add, check out our blog, to your podcast script. You could even integrate the blog into your podcast as a starting point for topics. Meanwhile, you can easily place some snippets of a podcast episode into your blog. This will accent your written piece and offer an introduction to the podcast for your readers. Cross-promotion between your company's podcast and blog helps grow both types of content. To sum up, stop asking the question, blog or podcast, and allow them to work together for your company. You'll see with this podcast episode itself, we've written a blog post that accompanies it, we use this podcast to get out to the people who listen to this podcast, and we'll post videos all over the internet trying to get people from YouTube to LinkedIn to consume this content. Thanks for listening to another episode of Recorded Content. I'm Justin Brown. We'll see you next time.
Thanks for listening to Recorded Content, a show brought to you by Motion, a done-for-you podcasting agency for B2B tech marketers. We do the podcast stuff so you can focus on strategy, building brand awareness, and developing new relationships. To learn more about how you can launch and grow a podcast for your company, check out motionagency.io. Thanks for listening to Recorded Content. 